Hold on. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see some familiar faces on here. This is Carrie. I'm the curator of education here at the Buttonwood Park Zoo. We're coming to you from a beautiful day here in New Bedford, Massachusetts. And if you saw our post earlier, you know that today is a very important day for us here. It is Giving Zoo Day. Um, this is the last day for us to raise $30,000 towards a matching donation. We have an amazing anonymous donor who will be matching everybody's donations. And so we thought today to drum up the last of those donations, we would do another painting. We had a lot of requests after we did a painting with Emily to please also do one with Miss Ruth. So you can see here, I'm joined today by Ruth, our Asian elephant, her keeper, Kay, who we learned was her favorite keeper at another chat, and our assistant director, Shara. Okay. And I just want to show you a little bit about what we have going on here. So we have our canvas that Miss Ruth will be painting on. These are the colors she'll be painting with today and her brushes. And as always, she's going to get a lot of positive reinforcement for doing her painting. Although I can see just by standing here, she anxiously came over and really clearly wants to do some painting. Um, so everybody who donates to this Facebook Live chat that we're doing today is going to be entered to win the painting that Ruth is making. No gift, no matter how big or small. Um, there is no gift, big or small, so we will be putting everybody who donates in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get over here so we can see Ruth in action. And Shara, why don't you talk a little bit about so, Ruth and her painting? All right, so those of you that saw Emily paint uh, could see when she painted that uh, we held the canvas um, actually outside and allowed her to reach through and paint. So Ruthie um, has a partial paralysis in her trunk, which means she has to do things a little bit differently. So you will see that we keep the canvas down low for her. She holds the brush differently than Emily. She actually curls it in the bottom of her trunk and brushes across the canvas with the brush. So it's a little bit more difficult to actually see the paintings, so they come out as more of a surprise. But the process is the same. She is voluntarily painting. She can walk away at any time. She's getting lots of treats. And this is actually one of her favorite activities. <laughs> She's waiting patiently. Oh, oh. sorry, we see how to do that. Okay. <laughs> she drops you her switch paintbrush. Colors? I can. Yeah. We'll switch colors and go back to that. Take it. So we're going to a pink oh, now. We're going to do pink now. So what's interesting Ooh. is that... <laughs> Hey, that makes it all the more authentic. Yeah, sometimes we get texture as well as <laughs> brush strokes with these. So what's neat about this is that Emily's paintings look very different from Ruthie's just because of their different styles. So if you're just joining us, today is Giving Zoo Day. It's our last day to raise $30,000 towards a matching donation. So we will be auctioning off this painting to anybody who donates any amount of money into the donate button on this um, post. And we'll do that straight through till tomorrow morning where we will announce the winner um, in tomorrow morning's chat. So she, we are here with Ruth, our Asian elephant, who is painting a beautiful painting for us. It's an awesome enrichment activity for her as well. I love the colors that the keepers have chosen. <laughs> she is, full disclosure, she has ripped the canvas a little bit, but I think that just adds character. It shows that a very strong, beautiful animal painted this for you. Thank you to the three donors so far. Again, the more donations we get, the more opportunities to win this amazing painting by Ruth, our Asian elephant. Also, if you have any questions about the process or about the elephants, we are here with their keepers and our assistant director, so you're welcome to ask 
questions about Ruth or about Asian elephants or about painting or training. And we can certainly answer those as we Yeah, so just type those in the chat if you're um, curious about anything. But it's also lovely just to be able to watch her in action. <laughs> She's she not done. So Silas age nine wants to know how she knows how to paint. So um, they naturally like to pick up sticks and draw things in the sand or in the dirt. Sometimes they'll pick up rocks and do the same thing. So um, really it was a behavior we were already seeing with them. And they were all shaping. So we basically replaced the sticks and rocks with the brush and eventually added paint and paired it with the cue. And, and it's an enrichment activity and we use positive reinforcement. So she knows that um, she's going to get lots of treats, which makes it more fun for her to do. Um, so it's just a process of um, approximations. So we just step by step introduce the brush and the paint and the canvas until we got the end result. Um, we had a question. I guess it's kind of a two-part question. Can she see in colors and does she have a favorite color? Um, they see colors the same way we do. Um, they see different sort of shades and gradients and I don't know that we've gotten a particular favorite color for them. I know with Emily we've offered different colors and she doesn't really seem to prefer one over the other if you give her the choice to dip the brush into whichever you know, paint she wants. Yes and in the case of this painting the keepers have chosen the colors and are handing her the brush pre-dipped. Um, those of you who are asking, yes, she is here with Emily. Emily is over yep. yonder. <laughs> Get under Ruthie here. She's just over there enjoying her own enrichment during Ruthie's um, painting session. Do you want to, some people were asking about yeah. Ruth and where we got her from and what her story so, is. So, um, Ruth is the older of our two Asian elephants and she was uh, what we consider a rescue animal. She started out at Benson's Wild Animal Farm, which was a facility in New Hampshire. Um, and she was sold to a private owner who sort of took her on the road as an elephant for hire. So she did a lot of parades and moved around quite a bit. Uh, it was not the greatest life for her. Uh, and eventually um, the USDA actually confiscated her and placed her with us. So we had the facilities and had them open, and they brought her here. <laughs> and that was back in 1986. Nope, she's not done. She nope. says, nope, it needs another another stroke. Um, someone's asking, do they like to paint? Well, she can leave at any time. So she's chosen to stay. And as soon as she saw the canvas, she actually, before we turned the... Um, the live feed on, she lines right up because she knows this is where we ask her to paint. So I would say that yes, she enjoys it. What do you think? I think we have a beautiful painting. She has made a, an eclectic painting for you all. Again, full disclosure, she did, she did rip the canvas, but like I said, I think it adds another dimension to the painting. Um, a reminder that today is Giving Zoo Day, so this is our last day to raise $30,000 towards a matching donation. Um, anyone who donates to this video through the donate button at the bottom um, will be eligible to win this painting. We'll make an announcement at tomorrow's chat about who won um, this amazing painting. I would love to have this in my house. Yeah, this is definitely um, one of a kind. So thank you to those of you who have donated so far. So far we have four people in the running to win this painting, but you could be too. Any amount is helpful towards our goal of $30,000 for today. Ruthie, I think, is very impressed with her final product. Are there any other questions? Any other? Uh, how old was she when she started painting? painting? Um, so we started painting with them um, back in the 90s, in 1998. Adult, 
question my math. She's 61 now. Um, and I can't do math that fast. So <laughs> she was, she's in, I would say, her 40. All right, thank you for those extra donations. We now have six people in the running to win this beautiful painting that Miss Ruthie did as part of Giving Zoo Day. Those donations are going to help us in the Zoological Society to keep our education and conservation mission alive and bring these programs to you. So thank you so much for those donations. We will leave this up on our wall and you can continue to donate throughout the day. We will um, pull a name tomorrow morning before our keeper chat. So if you're watching the recording of this, we certainly um, still have time to donate. And if you have any last questions about Miss Ruthie, feel free to put them in the chat box. Or if you have questions about animals painting, Oh man, how many paintings has she made? <laughs> oh geez, over the years, hundreds, I would say. We're in the hundreds. Sometimes we just do it for fun, um, you know, in the, in the barn with them. Not all the paintings are necessarily on canvas. We've let them paint on the walls. We've let them paint on fences. Um, uh, so yeah, definitely over, over 100 for sure. Um, we had a question about what we do to clean her trunk when she's done painting. So this is non-toxic paint. It's water soluble. So, I mean, it, children can paint with it if she gets it in her mouth or on her skin. It's not going to be a problem for her. You can see she's already eating, so a lot of it's going to get rubbed off. Um, and the keepers also, you know, are, are hosing them and, and they're getting periodic baths. So between all of that, that kind of removes any paint. That's and what are you used. using as her positive reinforcement today? Dried fruits. So cranberry, dried apple. Yeah. It's Those easier nice. um, to have the dry fruit in here. Nice. So similar to if you do training with your pets at home. Um, how old is Emily? Emily this year is 55. And she's off in the distance, quietly grazing right now, it looks like. They're loving the sunshine as much as they all of are. us are. What else you got? Any other I questions? I think that's all the questions we have. Thank you so much to the 10 people who have donated so far. If you donate to this video for Giving Zoo Day, you will be helping us reach our goal of $30,000 by the end of today to support our matching donation by an anonymous donor. Um, and you will be entered to win this amazing painting that Ruthie just did with us during this live chat. Um, we will announce that winner in tomorrow's chat and we will also send you a private message so be on the lookout for those um, thank you so much for joining us today for watching miss ruthie paint thank you kay and shara for showing us how she does that people were disappointed not to see it when emily did it so it's nice to see the differences if you didn't watch emily paint i definitely recommend finding that video on our page um, to be able to kind of watch the differences between the two because it's very interesting have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys tomorrow